Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Yosaka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Ashley and I are beaming because we had a wonderful release week last yes. week. Um, and we want to thank you all for giving us so much support last week. We were sweating all up until <laughs> the very final moment. Oh, yeah. um, we were so nervous. And for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, um, <laughs> Last week in the episode of Catching Up, we hinted that we would be having some news very, very, very soon about our next pen launch. And the reason for that was that we had to, we decided to do pre-orders for this next third pen release, the Jia Home Fountain Pen. And the reason we decided to do that is we talked about it at length in another video. Mm -hmm. um, but basically the cost of these pens ended up being a lot higher than anticipated. So as a result, we are actually re-releasing all three pens up until now that we've released. So it's our Yo Origin Fountain Pen, our Sin Refresh Fountain Pen, and our this year's release is our Jia Home Fountain Pen. So um, we announced this Friday night <laughs> at Saturday midnight, morning. Saturday morning <laughs> at midnight. And um, we really just want to thank you all so much for your incredible show of support. I, you know, it's funny, I say thank you, but like, I really mean it because I feel like um, we basically like demanded your attention super last minute. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, are people even going to see this? Yeah. Like, I was so stunned. Exactly. We were just, you know, we needed to make it known that this was happening and it was happening um, with very short notice because we have to make the pre-order is basically going to allow us to put our order in mm -hmm. um, and people's, uh, people are basically, you're funding our production of our Jia Home Fountain pen so we really thank you so much and we had to like ring the alarm and had to tell everyone that this was happening um and get everyone's attention within like a day and tell tell you guys that we were releasing the pen that night yeah so um truly thank you for uh tuning in that day and just uh humoring us we we did so many like teasers and like <laughs> <laughs> I was filming away all yeah. these videos. All of these videos that Ashley made, all of these like little reels, like trying to build up hype about this pen. And um, yeah, I just want to truly say thank you for mm -hmm. going going mm -hmm. along uh, with us on that crazy ride last week. Mm -hmm. um, it was a wonderful, wonderful uh, release. And a lot of you all put in your pre-orders in, which will allow us to get these pens made, basically. Mm -hmm. So um, we really want to thank you you so much for helping us complete the series yeah. which we've worked so hard on and um, I'm really excited that we can now uh, show you all the next Ja Home Fountain Pen which which many of you have seen already but in case any of you haven't Ashley designed it and I'll let you show everybody yeah uh, I, this is the pen <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can tell why I chose these colors based on what I'm wearing today. I know, I should have worn the colors too, I'm sorry, but they are your colors. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just really love beige, and so I, I think I should give like an actual close-up, close-up. So this is the Home Fountain Pen. It's got beige in it, it's got brown, golden pearlescent brown, it's and such a olive. beautiful color. Yeah, and then the cap is transparent with like tiny gold glitter. And I, I love beige, but I think it was ultimately very fitting for the home vibe, you know, theme, mm -hmm. because beige to me is like a very warm color, mm -hmm. but like not overpoweringly warm, like like orange or something, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's very like relaxing, but still warm. And mm -hmm. I feel like that 
is the image of home. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy to put my favorite colors into this pen. Yeah, it is such a homey pen. And the reason we call this one home is because truly like to me and Neil, Yoseka is um, a home to us. You know, it's a home of our dreams and it's a home where we find, where we've been lucky to find so many like-minded individuals that we love to see every day and that we work hard to make our dreams come true with. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. it's been a real honor. Sounds like I'm saying goodbye. I'm not saying I goodbye. Know. I know. Like dad just like <laughs> yeah. eulogy or something. We're okay. We're okay. Um, so emotional. Just a little emotional. Um, yeah. Really happy with how this pen turned out. And here on the pen tray here, we have our previously released fountain pen. So this is our origin fountain pen, our refresh fountain pen. And these are the home fountain pens. This is in here, this king of pen, <laughs> because we uh, actually did have a prototype of this one made, but I, I'll take it out of the tray for now because I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea. I don't think uh, we're going to be doing anything with this one. It's going to be going to break the bank on this yeah. one. Um, so <laughs> we can't afford to do anything with the with the King of Pen. Um, we did we did have it made in case anybody is curious to see what a King of Pen would look like with this home with these home colors. And it is really pretty. I feel like mm -hmm. there's no other King of Pen like it. So mm -hmm. we did want to see it at least. Um, but yeah, here you are. A lot of you will have this very collection right, you know, in your homes in a few in months. In your homes. In your homes, exactly. Maybe on your uh, walnut pen trays in a few yeah. months. So this is what it will look like. <laughs> yeah, if anyone doesn't know or recall, the the pens are inspired by each character in our logo. Mm -hmm. Which I, I know you already said, but I'm just, I just know that all together, you. Yes. I'm gonna show. All the characters together. The the finials are so cute. Yes, very pleasing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna feel so good to like line up all of my pens and be able to do me this at home. Me too. Me too. Yes. Um, so just once again, thank you so much for all of your support on the pre-orders. We are excited to get these pens out to you. It will take a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like your standard Twisby pre-order or Sailor pre-order where you'll get the pens in like a week or two. Um, in this case, we haven't had the pens made yet. So <laughs> we will be doing that. And there's quite a, quite a long wait and quite, quite some time that Sailor takes to make these pens. So we're estimating that they'll be ready in September. Um, and until then you have until April 15th to pre-order. Um, and the pre-order is not like your last chance because we'll be, um, we'll be restocking some to the website like once we actually have our order in our hands come September. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like most of the FAQs that people have about how this pre-order works because a lot, you know, there's lots of different ways to do pre-orders, but this is how we're doing this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us let us know in the comments if you um, plan on getting one, what you think of the yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I personally really, really love these colors. Yeah, I think I like... So they mm -hmm. look so good together. Mm -hmm. You did so good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so excited for it. Yes. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. Last week, we also, we just had like a really exciting week last week. We also had our stationary swap event last week, which we have Christine here to tell us all about how it went. So, yeah. <laughs> well, Christine. <laughs> Well, Christine, thank you so much for coming on this episode. Oh, it's my pleasure yeah. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have a case of the giggles. Um, it's just we've been trying to fit all three of us in the frame for a minute now. Um, we're all but nice and cozy. yeah, we're all really nice and cozy. And Christine, how was your stationary event? It was your so stationary good. Event. Yeah, your stationary swap event. It, was, it was so good. It was so much fun. It was great to see like so many good customers, like old faces and new faces. Mm. Mary word that old faces. No <laughs> old faces. People we know. Yes. People we've seen many times yes. in the store and yes. people who we are just getting to know. Right. Yeah. Right. So it was really great to kind of bring everyone together for the event and just people brought so much stationery. Yeah. <laughs> yes. True. Um, it was a lot of fun to like look through people's like um 
donations uh-huh. or things that they wanted to like swap. Mm-hmm. People brought a lot of inks. Um, mm-hmm. We still have, I think most of the larger bottles were um, taken, but we still have like a ton of ink samples ink that like customers had made. So, yeah, I didn't realize that like this one customer messaged on Instagram and said that she had made ink samples for the swap. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I, that must be the ink samples. Yeah, yeah, she made yeah, them yeah. for the swap. Wow. Isn't that so nice? Oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it was it was really wonderful to see everyone and I had a really good time. It sounded like a lot of the customers had a good time. Um, and I am very excited to do this event again. Yay. Um, oh, and before I I should mention that um, we do have a little hashtag. <laughs> oh, that's yes. right. We yes. have a hashtag that we started for this, I don't know, Yoseka stationary swap and journaling event. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, What's the hashtag? The hashtag is Yoseka Journalers. Mm-hmm. So if you want to, you know, post something, even if it's just like a spread of your planner, mm. um, we're just trying to create like a little Instagram community. Um, that's but, so cute. Yeah. Yay. I'm go um, back and post my haul. For um, what I thought. <laughs> wait, I, it was so fun. I was going to say, like, it was fun to see what everyone got from the event. Mm-hmm. Like, I know May got, like, a nice pink little bottle of shimmer ink from that Color so Burst. Yeah. It looks like, like a, nail, a nail polish that she would it use. Does. It does. Right? Yeah. And yeah. you got some stuff that was, like, very in your color palette. Yes. I got some beige <laughs> things, and obviously. Birds. And I got a bird washi tape. Oh. Whoever donated their bird washi tape, it's found a great home. <laughs> Yay. What did you get, Chris? I I did not have a lot of time to look through things. You but as we were, she was trying to make sure everything was going yeah. smoothly. But as we were um, cleaning up at the end, mm-hmm. I was very quickly like sorting things and looking at the same time. And I think I grabbed. Um, I did get a clear stamp of like a little ink bottle that I'm oh, going to be mm. using for like color swatches. Mm, cute! And I also got um, a couple of like stickers that I've already made a little spread already with oh my, my items in oh honor gosh. of the stationary events. Oh, cute. Um, that's so cute. But, uh, but yeah, it was a really nice event. Very fun. Um, I'm hoping that next time will be even more fun. Yes. I think we'll probably have like like a little, a little tweaks here and there to make everything a little bit more um, streamlined. In, streamlined, enjoyable in mm-hmm. general. Mm. So I'm so excited. Yes. I can't wait to attend again. Yay, yes. yay, yay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so thank you so much for anyone who did come to the event mm-hmm. and participate in it. I personally wasn't able to go, but I saw in the stories that it looked packed. So yes. it was a really good turnout, yes. which is what this event should be. Like we want people to be able to meet other people who love stationery. And a lot of people are saying, you know, it can be a more solitary hobby sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. But that doesn't mean that people who enjoy stationery don't want to meet other people. So I think this is a good way for people to do that. And I'm really happy to see that a lot of you got to do it. Um, and we'll be doing more like it and we'll put in a, a date on the calendar mm-hmm. very soon. So look out for an, uh, an announcement on Instagram. Yeah. Anything else, Christine? A big special shout out to, um, <laughs> We, we almost had like a side travelers meetup in addition oh, to yeah, going on. yeah so like I, it was very funny. It's we like, did not plan for everyone to have like a travelers notebook when we started sharing our things, but um, it was very cute to kind of um, to see everyone's travelers notebook and. A uh, special shout out to Allison, a good customer friend. Uh, she is the one who kind of came up with the Yoseka Journalers hashtag and kind of nice. created that little um, ripple effect <laughs> where people started adding their um, their their what is Handle? it called handles? Yeah, she's so funny. So, yeah. I love seeing her whenever she comes to the store. She's always so excited to find Christine and show her her travelers. <laughs> I am I am always excited to see these updates. Like I. Can't Cannot get enough of these these <laughs> updates about um, different planner systems. Yeah, there's like certain people where I'm just automatically like Christine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine Allison's here. She wants to show you her travelers so far. <laughs> um, so yeah, 
yeah, thank you so much, Allison, and everyone else who came. Show us your traveler's notebook. Show us your Hobonichis. Show us whatever you've Any got. Any planner you have. Any a lot planner. of bullet journals, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of bullet exactly. journals. Journal. So, yeah, we're, we're excited to see you uh, in future stationary swaps and journaling meetups. Yay! Yay! Well, thanks, Christine, for coming on. Yeah, it was my pleasure. Yeah. I'm always happy to hang out. Okay, see you <laughs> next time. In this very enclosed space. It's <laughs> <laughs> so cozy. Like this, yeah. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So that was fun. I look forward to having the next stationary swap and yeah, Christine is going to be doing um, another one. We have to put one on the calendar, but we'll definitely be doing another one uh, very, very soon, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then next up on our busy, busy Yoseka spring events calendar is our traveler stamp caravan, which starts April 12th and goes on till April 16th. So that's Wednesday to Sunday, the 12th to the 16th. And we are going to be having um, um, this the set of travelers stamps called the stamp caravan that typically um, you can only find in their travelers factory shops in Tokyo. Um, so they travelers is sending this set of stamps around the world and we have our turn with it this week. Um, Neil and I set it up in the store this past weekend. So we did a little reels to show what, what you might find at the event if you come and visit, but it's basically all these really cute stamps so many. so cute and all um and all different shapes and sizes so cool. a lot of like the travelers motifs um and then they added some new ones that we didn't have last time around we had the stamp caravan this was back in like 2000 19 mm -hmm. uh, when we last had the stamp caravan. Um, so they added a bunch of new ones like uh, the limited set ones. Mm -hmm. So there's like a train themed one, an airline themed one, a record themed one, and uh, a hotel, hotel. a mm -hmm. hotel themed one. So those cool. are super cute. We also have some special collectible stickers that we'll be giving out at the event. So um, more details about that uh, once you once you come in store. But looking forward to seeing you and hope hope to see you at one of these events and maybe the next stationary swap if you can't make it to any of these we'll be sure to be we'll be sure to do more throughout mm -hmm. the spring throughout the summer um and if anybody wants to collab on events let us know yeah i feel like now that the weather is getting warmer it's like very, you know, uh, motivating to, to get out of the house. That's what I was just saying. I wrote that in my newsletter. I was like, you know, for oh, me, yeah, winter's yeah, yeah. about like holding up and like not doing anything. Mm -hmm. But now that it's getting warmer, I just want to get out. I just want to get out of the house. Yeah, do stuff. I want to do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, yeah, definitely a good time of the year to be um, meeting new people, mm -hmm. um, you know, and sharing your hobby with anyone who's who's interested. Yeah, I think that is it for updates mm -hmm. from last week. So we're going to move on to things that we have added. Yeah, That's newly sweet. added stationery. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some other things, but for today's video, we're actually going to be focusing on a new collection from Ours. So Ours is a stationery collective from a few different artists in Taiwan. Um, they have pink and Bear Koopa, and then I think like one other. And then we have some new stationery that we will be talking about from ours. And Often and I, we're just talking about how they're really stepping up their illustration game at ours. They like, are. These are so cute. They're very cute. Even the packaging is so mm -hmm. good. The packaging. Yeah, okay. let's start with these. These are the stamp stickers or sticker packs. Yep. Um, I'll open it up. Right, this one you have is called Bedtime Story. And they're super cute. They're like stamp style. Not so to be confused pile. with like real stamps you can use as postage stamps because yeah. these are so real. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they even have like the, like the amount yeah. that it would cost. Don't try and mail a letter with these. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, won't work. it will get sent back to you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. But the, so cute. all the stamp details are in gold foil. Oh it's just like super, super pretty. They're so cute. And how perfect that like these are um, so like fun, such a children's book kind of illustration style. And it's called mm -hmm. Bedtime Story. So oh, obviously it's cute. fitting, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. That's that style. And then there is another um, Hours sticker pack, and this design is called Konbini. 
Ooh. So it is inspired by different things, different goodies that you would find in a convenience store in Asia. So like think of like a 7-Eleven or like a family mart or something. Mm. And these are all over Japan and Taiwan. So um, how cute. So good. How cute. That's making me hungry. I know. <laughs> and I love kind of like the oil pastel mm -hmm. artwork. With the texture. Yeah, the texture. Like you can really see the texture on these illustrations of these. Mm -hmm. So cute. Getting hungry. <laughs> we also have their, um, these are more sticker packs, but these are not postage stamp themed. Um, we have this one in this pack called Life Stuffs, which I have to steal some of these stickers. Like they're, I know, so, they're so cute. cute. And you get so many of them. You mm -hmm. get 12 sheets of stickers with four designs and you get one sheet of PET, one sheet of washi paper and one sheet of like regular paper. This one is like the washi paper, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a very thin and delicate sort of almost sheer. Ooh. Ooh, 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 the camera doesn't God. like it. That's how thin it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like a very thin sort of washi paper material. And then this one is the regular paper. So it's like an opaque, more very opaque sticker. Um, and then this one is the PET sticker. So it's like a clear, like a clear sticker. Yeah, I love that. Popcorn. So cute. Yeah, and these all have the same like oil pastel type of illustration style texture to them too. Yeah, I love these um, life stuffs. <laughs> life stuff. I think the life stuffs will like really <laughs> appeal to um, any like journaling people because mm -hmm. we love to just write about our days and things mm -hmm. like that, you know. So our life stuffs, our life stuffs you know, we got life stuffs going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of life stuffs going on. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and there's a fountain oh, pen. Cute. How cute! And it's like some gyoza. I oh, love God. the wind vane. That's yeah. what that's called, right? Um, weather vane? Weather vane. Yes. Yeah. I, I only know that because of Nagasawa. Hmm. Because they have that on their nib. Some oh. of their nibs. Why do you know the name of a weather vane? <laughs> Kiki's delivery service. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. There's like a really pretty shot of, of one. Oh. But I don't know. They don't say the name. name. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. It's just you're in from there. Texas. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is not a New York thing. Let me tell you that. I've it's never seen one of these in real life. Ranchy. <laughs> yeah. It's my ranch <laughs> knowledge. Um, and then another sticker pack, which we're a few months late on. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Winter Season. Christmas in the middle. In July. Yeah. In the middle of all these like spring celebrations that we're having, but. I don't know, some some people love like the holidays, right? So I think that some people will still get these and they are really cute. Mm -hmm. Like they're beautiful illustrations. Like, oh, wait, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like these are some foil accents on some very like wintry holiday things. I just have to say, I really appreciate how they inverted some of the trees. Oh, to I make know it better. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Oh, they wanted to give you more stickers mm -hmm. per sheet. Yes. How yes, considerate. Yes, yes. Um, so there's like some Christmas trees and then sort of like holiday dinner kind of vibes, like a cozy sweater. And then there's like snowflake motifs. And these this stickers, one. this is so pretty. These stickers are the same, um, same thing. So you get the PET, the paper, and the washi paper style stickers. This reminds me of May's um, ornament card. Yeah. <laughs> these same colors. colors. Yeah, yeah. These colors. Very cute. So cute. And I feel like there are a lot of people who, who start planning their gifts so early. It's true, like summer. The holidays. People so. will get like, holiday gifts. Mm -hmm. And then we have some PET tapes. This one is the Konbini. So it's like same theme um, for their release. This is their Konbini PET tape with lots of like the onigiri, like those uh, convenience store motifs. Oh, some Pocky. I'm, I'm oh, like, my I'm stomach is- hungry. Yeah. It's around lunchtime, so mm -hmm. don't don't mind our stomachs over here. Oh, I the love the peanut butter. Is so appealing to me. Oh, so good. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 
These are all really good. And ah, yeah, the it's coffee, not, the popsicles. It's not oh. repeating yet, by the way. It's true, the design is really yeah, long. The design is really long. The other one is this really cute kind of spring theme. This one's called Similar story. to the bedtime story. Oh, it is bedtime yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, it's bedtime story. Design again. I'll just unroll. It has some of the stamp, like this is on the stamp. This is on the stamp sticker. Pack. Oh, the stamp sticker. Yeah. So but then cute. there's some other like new designs. Ah, this is so like fairy tale. Very, yes. very bedtime story. Mm -hmm. This coffee time one is so cute. so cute. Magic. And then it starts again here. Okay. So cute. So cute. Oh, ours. These are like matte PET tapes. So the the, the tape itself is mm. matte, but the design is a little, like, slightly glossy. Mm. Yes, good point. Yeah. Okay. So cute. Yeah. And then last but not least. And then we have under the night sky letterpress pad, which I'll just open up here. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I guess like, you know, usually when you see letterpress, it's not so colorful. It's not mm -hmm. like a whole blanket thing of color. So mm -hmm. this is really special. It um, is. And these are like thinner sheets of the letterpress design. Mm -hmm. And these are perforated too, right? They're perforated, yeah. yeah. So nice. um, each of these four panels, these four panel designs can be torn off. And really great for collaging. Ooh, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Very satisfying. So cute. So that is about it for our newly added hours stationery, a lot of which I will be adding to my collection <laughs> at home. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, we do have other some other newly added stationery, but this week we just thought we would focus on hours since they have so many cute new illustrations. And obviously our big release last week was our Jia Home uh, fountain pen in addition to our Yo Sin Jia fountain pen series. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I do want to shout out, I was in the store this week and it's funny because these pre, usually every year when we do these uh, releases, we do, we work really hard for like the two weeks before the release mm -hmm. and then it's like go time that day and then the next day you come in and you're like, okay, we gotta work on these orders. Like we gotta, we gotta get all of these orders out to people mm -hmm. ASAP. And this time it was like, you know, we're like, okay, we don't have to do anything yeah. yet. <laughs> we have a lot of work in five months. In the months. future. <laughs> yeah. um, so it felt a little weird, but um, I do wanna just shout out, we have so many people who left us the sweetest notes mm -hmm. um, on your orders. People who wrote like essays, essays. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that like, you know, they're excited about this pen, they want to add it to their collection and um, people who watched our release video explaining the idea behind this pen and really just gave it so much support. So um, I have so many names in my head, but like Jesse and Sandy and Megan and Mallory, like I'm not going to say your last name, but all of you guys <laughs> and there's like so many more of you mm -hmm. who wrote us beautiful, beautiful things and said, amazing things to us and just really like filled our hearts yeah. with this release. So thank you so much to all of you. And then I met um, a customer, Loretta, in store mm -hmm. who, um, yeah, it was nice because she had pre-ordered the, the pen online and then she came in store. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, so I got to talk to her and then I got to show her the pens up close, up oh, close in real life. That's exactly. Nice. Um, and it just felt like a nice little, it felt more well-rounded having, mm -hmm. having this experience of like being able to hear some of your feedback about the pen and mm -hmm. like seeing Loretta and being able to talk to her about the pen and show it to her rather than just like having this release and then like it's emptiness done. for yeah. five months so <laughs> so yeah. thank you so much for um letting us know that it was well received and um just just being there to support us yeah i have to i have to add on to that like so many people left notes saying like that I did a good job or that yes, I chose like good colors and yes. I'm like, oh my God, you're all gonna make Penelope. me cry. Yes, yeah. oh my goodness. Because I feel like this is, like I've had a lot of um, design influence on other releases we've done, but I feel like this is the biggest one that I've had mm -hmm. influence on mm -hmm. and I'm like, ah, 
that that really like touched my heart. So thank you to anyone that's shouted me out. But it would also not be possible. Like it's all like a team effort, of mm -hmm, course. Mm -hmm. And everyone's always like giving me input on what colors would be better, what not. So yeah, it is definitely a team it was, effort. I would say it was Ashley's like choice of colors to begin with, mm -hmm. but we start out with like a lot of colors to choose from. And then we get sent swatches and mm -hmm. the whole team kind of like sits around the table and looks at the swatches and mm -hmm. thinks about what will look good together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very much a collaborative effort and yes. um, we're just glad you like it. All yes. of us are. So I can't take all the credit. But thank you. Yay. I really appreciate it. Yay. So, yay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you all for watching this episode of uh, Catching Up with the Osaka Station. I think that's about it for this one. Um, again, uh, we appreciate you so much for all of your support, for watching this episode, um, and for just, you know, loving what we do yeah, and giving us a reason to do always. what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you very soon in the next episode and hopefully at one of our coming uh, upcoming events this, this, this month. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.